We talked a little bit. I'm here with Steve Lewer, the uh, vice president of horticulture here at the gardens. We talked a little bit earlier about how uh, what goes into the equipment and everything, but there's another side of the butterflies, and that is some of the permits and some of the regulations you have to go through to get them here. Talk a little bit about that. Right. So all of these tropical butterflies that you see in this space are non-native insects. So, um, you know, you have heard stories about emerald ash borer and some of the other things that are non-native insects. Well, we're not going to have that problem at all with these beautiful butterflies, but the USDA takes that very seriously. And so we have special permitting that has to happen. We go through a number of different things. That's why you have to go through the vestibule when you walk into the conservatory and you have to check yourself for butterflies before you go out. So all of those things we do in order to comply with those regulations so that we can provide this opportunity for people to see these beautiful tropical butterflies. So with this being the 28th year, I imagine you guys have kind of nailed down the specifics of that and jumped through the hoops you need to jump through. How many different butterflies are there here that will be hatching, or excuse me, uh, emerging. emerging, yeah, we talked about this earlier. How many different butterflies will be emerging throughout the course of the Butterflies Are Booming, Blooming exhibit? Well, that's one of my favorite things because on our permit, we have over 50 different genera of butterflies and over 155 different species. So over the course of the exhibition, of all of those butterflies, we typically get in at least 60 different varieties of butterflies. So some of the butterflies that you see early on in the exhibition will be different than the ones you see later in the exhibition. So um, that's one of the reasons why our members love to come, you know, more than once throughout the exhibition because it's different each time that you come. Really neat. Again, another opportunity to come out here more than once, as you mentioned, not only because of the different butterflies that will be emerging, but also because of the winter-like forecast with the possibility of some more snow. It feels really nice in here. I think I might sleep in here tonight. If you find me in the bushes tomorrow morning, you'll know that I just want to enjoy the humid weather. But for now, we'll send it back to the studio. Blake Arms and News 8. Yeah, earlier Matt was saying how after the last week or so, you really deserve it. So have fun in there. And the Butterflies Are Blooming exhibit opens officially tomorrow. It runs until April 30th.